Good morning, St. Mark's friends, and welcome to a summer of miracles. We are going to make some really neat things in craft. And since it's our first day, we're gonna create a journal so we can keep track of everything we are learning in a summer of miracles. So this is what our journal is going to look like. It's got a title page that says Summer of Miracles, and then it's got blank pages inside so that you can fill out everything you're learning all during this week. It's very easy to make, so come on and I'll show you. So before we get started making our journal, let me show you what items you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece of colored paper. It can be any color. You're going to need five sheets of white paper. You're gonna need a piece of yarn. The stickers that were in your kit. We'll start using those. And a hole puncher. And if you don't have a hole puncher, that's okay. A stapler will work. So either a hole puncher or a stapler. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our colored paper and we're gonna stack it on top of our white sheets, get them as neat as possible, and then you're just gonna fold them in half and make a crease. And try to do it as neatly as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So if you have a hole puncher, you are going to open the journal back out to the middle where all the pages meet up and you're gonna take your hole puncher and you're gonna punch on one side and then you're going to punch on the other side, just right on that crease line. Sometimes it's a little tricky to punch, but I know you can do it, or you can get an adult to help you. So once you've done that, you take your piece of string or yarn or ribbon, whatever you have, and you're gonna feed it through each hole. And then you're just gonna tie it like that. You can get somebody to help you if you don't know how to tie a bow. You can tie it and have the bow on the inside, or if you want it on the outside, you can pull it through to the outside. So there you've got your journal. So if you don't have a hole puncher, I'm going to show you how to do it with a stapler. So if you don't have a hole punch, no problem. It's very easy to make the same journal using a stapler. So you're gonna start with the paper, uh, the colored paper on the outside and then stack your white paper on top of it. Get it all nice and neat and then fold it over just like we did before. And so now you're just gonna take your stapler just like this and staple the sides. And you wanna try and get it as neat as possible, as even as possible, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look at there. Now we've got a journal that's stapled together. So the next thing you're gonna do is to decorate the cover. And I'll show you again what I did, but I want you to be creative. Um, I said Summer of Miracles 2020, St. Mark's Episcopal Church. Then I used my church sticker and look, I did V, B, S, but I just put the Bible sticker there for the B. Um, there's a lot of stars in your sticker pack, so you can use that. I use the Holy Spirit dove, cross, and a church. But you don't have to make yours just like mine. There are a lot of beautiful stickers that you can use, and you should have plenty of them. So I'm gonna let you guys decorate it however you like. You can save some of your stickers to use during the week. I did that. So on the first day, we're learning two Bible verses. The first Bible verse we're learning is, For God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. And you have a sticker that says that. So why don't we put that sticker in our journal? 
can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put mine nice and neat here on the front page, just like that. But we're also learning a Bible story today about when God sends manna and quail from heaven. So we have a Bible verse for that story. I am going to rain bread from heaven for you. Exodus 16, 4. So we've got that sticker. So why don't you put that one in your journal. And what I'd love to see is for you to draw some pictures about the story that you learned today. And once you've drawn your pictures and created your journal, will you please email them to Caroline at the church and her email address should appear on the screen because I just can't wait to see what you've done. Thank you so much. Have a lot of fun.